Northeast Texas Thermal Hunter coming at you today to talk about how to sight in the Bearing Optics R 35 millimeter thermal rifle scope. As you can see, I have this rifle scope mounted on a Ruger Ranch bolt gun because it has a top rail for the QD mount to attach really nicely to. A couple things I like to go over before I sight in a rifle is we've got a couple features on this rifle scope I want to talk about. First is this objective focus ring. This allows you to focus the thermal scope. So it's just like a normal daytime scope. You're going to focus it so the image is clear. Second thing I like to do is talk about this eye Doppler adjustment ring. This right here allows you to adjust the screen that you're looking at to make sure that the image is clear to your eye. On top of the scope, we have three buttons. This button right here is the power on button. So long pressing this will power the rifle scope on. Then your second button is your menu button. A long press on this will bring your menu button up. And then this top and bottom button right here, once you're in the menu, allows you to scroll up and down through the options, as well as when you're sighting in the rifle. When you make your adjustments on your reticle, you'll use this buttons to move the reticle left or right or up and down to where your bullet impacted the target to make your adjustment. First step is go ahead and zoom your rifle all the way in to the max magnification the thermal scope that you're sighting in has. So on the bearing optics it has a base magnification of two power. So you can zoom it four times in making it an eight power. And then go ahead and focus your objective lens and your optical eyepiece lens to get a good clear image before you take your first shot. Get nice and steady and then take your first shot. As you can see, the impact is displayed by a red dot on the screen. This is where the first impact of the bullet shot. So this is showing that you're a little bit low and you're a little bit left. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go into your menu, go down to your sighting in profile, and then what you'll, you'll see that you can make your up, down, left and right adjustments. Your focus first one will be to up adjust your up and down. So in this case, you're gonna follow the bullet. So you're gonna move your reticle down to where it's in the center of that point of impact where the red dot is on the screen. So you'll make your adjustments with your up and down buttons, in this case going down. And then you'll hit the center button to switch to your left and right. And you'll go ahead and you'll hit the top and bottom button on the scope to go left or right. In this case, we're going to be going left until that cross arrow is right in the center of that red dot, which is where your point of impact on your first shot was. And at this point, you'll go ahead and save. You'll zoom back in get focused and get everything lined up again to take your follow-up shot to see if you need to make any adjustments. Once you take your second shot, you'll be able to see where your impact is and then you can make any further adjustments. In this case, our point of impact was dead center in the middle of the bullseye. So at this point, you're done sighting in the bearing optics.